Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'm gonna to be doing a quick video to show you how to adjust the sensors that are being used when determining your barometric and altimeter readings on your Garmin Instinct watch. So first let me start by saying, I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar non-tactical version. Doesn't matter if you're using the Solar or one of the non-Solar models of the watch. This video should work the same for everybody. The other thing I'll mention is this is a feature that 90% of you out there will never need to change. But I do want to let you know that it's available, just as an FYI. When you get your watch from Garmin, it should automatically be set to use both the altimeter and barometer sensors on the watch when determining things like your elevation and your weather patterns. But I guess there are certain cases where you wouldn't want to use both of them. You would just want to use the barometer or you would just want to use the altimeter in your activities. And you have the ability to change that on your Garmin Instinct watch. That's what I'm going to be showing you today. So the way you're gonna to need to get to that is one of two ways. You can either go to the barometer and then go to the settings. I can show you that real quick. By default, that's gonna be your ABC button down here. If you press and hold it, it'll take you into your altimeter, barometer, and compass. And once you're in here, it should take you to the last of those that you've used. In my case, it was the compass. I can press the up or down button and just go all the way through until I get to barometer. If I press GPS, that'll take me to my barometer settings. That's one of the ways you can do it. I'm gonna back out of this and I'm gonna show you how to get to it through the settings page as well. To do that, we're gonna press and hold the menu button. We're gonna arrow down to settings, press GPS to select settings. And then we're gonna arrow down to sensories and accessories, press GPS to select that. And we're going to arrow down until we get to barometer. You'll notice we're seeing the same thing as when we went to our barometer and just clicked on the settings. The second to last setting in here is watch mode. Again, by default, it should be set to auto. So if you're getting any kind of invalid readings, you might want to make sure that you've got it set to alt, uh, auto. But the reason that you would want to switch this is maybe you're in an area that the altitude isn't changing and you're more interested in getting weather pattern changes. So all you really want to use is your barometer. You could change that here. On the flip side, maybe you don't want weather patterns changing your altitude. You're in an area where you're doing maybe some hiking or mountain climbing and you want to just be focused on your altimeter. You can turn off your barometer here so that it's just using your altimeter sensor. The way we change that is when we're on this record, we press GPS and then we can arrow down instead of auto, we can just use the altimeter or we can just use the barometer. So again, if I choose barometer, now the watch will no longer be going back and forth between the altimeter and barometer sensors to determine my altitude and my weather patterns. It'll just use the barometer. Again, I can just use the altimeter. I'm going to go ahead and switch it back to auto. Again, I think in 90% of our cases, auto is going to be the best setting because it's using both of them. But it, like I say, if you're in an area where you're getting invalid readings, maybe it makes more sense, depending on what you're doing, just to use the barometer or just use the altimeter. Once you've got it set the way you want, just press the back button till you get back to your main screen. As always, I hope this video isn't too confusing. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments. I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.